Hello friends, thanks for stopping by today. I'm Smita Katti, I blog at smilingcolors.com and you can find me on social media as The Shiny Nest. Today's video is a fun one. I'm going to be sharing a quick way to create watercolor leaves. So I have my sketchbook ready and let's get started. To use your Tombow Dual Brush Pens as watercolor, you need to have a paper that works for its technique. Simple copy paper or thin typing paper, vellum, these kind of papers don't really work. Cardstock doesn't work that well either. You need a paper that has some thickness to it. And I'm using a mixed media sketchbook today. Watercolor paper also works really well. And in the description box below this video, I will leave links to some of my favorite products that, I work, that work for this technique. So to begin this, I'm going to start by drawing some triangles. I'm using the brush tip and I'm just scattering the triangles in a kind of wavy manner as if they were leaves on an invisible stem. The next step is to paint with water. I have a nice round 8 brush. This is a nice thick brush. I'm dipping it just in water and then I'm going to paint over the triangles. What happens here is the area where we've drawn the triangle, that area will remain a little darker. So it's basically you press down heavy at the bottom of the leaf and then you lift your paintbrush gently to create that little tip. And the tip will always be a little lighter. So I'm going to repeat this process today with three different colors. I chose to use a little bit of blue as well. I like whimsical leaves and this project is actually something I'm sharing on the Tomba USA blog today and we're celebrating Earth Day over there. So to go along with my leaves, I want to have a quote. So before I get too carried away with leaves, I just wanted to put my quote in place so that I know how much space I have left for the leaves. The quote I'm lettering today is a very simple one. It says, the earth has music for those who listen. I'm using a Tombow Fujinosuke pen. This is the soft tip. But since the tip is softer, it's much more easier to get a little more drama to a lettering. So now that my lettering is in place and I've given my leaves a little bit of time to dry, I'm going to go in and start adding another layer. Now for this layer, I'm just scattering my leaves in between and filling in spaces, but I'm also overlapping them slightly. Since the leaves that we're painting are kind of transparent, you can actually see the leaves beneath and this adds a really nice look of dimension and that watercolor just adds so much beauty to it. So I'm just scattering leaves randomly, a little bit of green here, some brown, some blue, just drawing triangles and painting over them with water to create the leaf shapes. It couldn't be easier. I told you, it's just two steps. Draw triangles, paint with a paintbrush. Two things to keep in mind for this technique. One, use a good quality paintbrush. If your paintbrush is too narrow, this won't be fun. If you're using a square or chisel edge, this won't work that easily. You want a paintbrush that'll have a, that goes into a nice tip. And I'm using a number eight. I think even a larger number would make beautiful leaves. So you also want to make sure that to achieve this layered look, the layer beneath has kind of dried before you lay, add another layer of leaves on top. I hope that makes sense. So what I like to do is I like to use very little water for my first few rounds. For the final round of leaves, I add more water and make it more dramatic. It dries, it looks very artsy. But you want to do that only for the final round of leaves that you add. If you do it right in the beginning, you're just going to be waiting for all the leaves to dry. And I'm completely impatient and I find that really boring. So here's a look at how the final page turned out. I enjoyed painting these really simple leaves. Now I'm actually itching to try something more complex. So let me know in the comments below if watercoloring is something you've been trying out. And if you like painting leaves, share with me what you've been doing. Or if you'd like me to try painting something else next time, just leave me a comment below. Make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and I'm going to leave you here with a playlist of other watercoloring videos. Thanks so much for spending some crafty time with me today, friends. I'll see you again soon. Till then, happy crafting!